Hi, this is Matt from Panther. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the Panther console and cover some of its essential components. I am currently logged in as a console user who has already been provisioned access to Panther. After you successfully log in, you are brought to the overview page. Move your cursor to the left side of the page to view the other sections of the console, including the dashboard overview page where you currently are, as well as alerts, investigate, build, and configure. On the overview page, you can see a total count of alerts over the past seven days, as well as a graph of the severity of all alerts over the same time period. You can adjust the time frame of the data displayed here by using the calendar tool in the upper right corner of the page. Below the alert count and graph, you can see your top five alerts, detection errors, and system errors, as well as your most active detections during the configured time period. Click on any of the detection names to quickly navigate to the rule page for the detection. Let's return to the overview page. Click on the Health tab. On this page, the health status of cloud resources you have connected with Panther is displayed. Next, click the Data tab. On this page, you can see a high-level snapshot of the data processed by Panther over a set time frame, including the number of events by log type and volume of data processed, as well as the average data latency per log type at the bottom of the page. Now let's have a look at the Configure section. In the Configure section, you can set up and modify log sources, cloud accounts, alert destinations, schemas, lookup tables, and enrichment providers. Click Log Sources. On this page, you can set up log sources for Panther to receive data from. Click on a log source to view the overview page for that source, including metrics for data and events processed. You may also modify your integrated log source from this page. Let's return to the Log Sources page. To onboard a new log source, click Create New in the upper right corner. There are a number of log sources Panther has built-in support for, like AWS, CrowdStrike, Okta, Asana, and more. You can also configure custom log sources for services that Panther does not have built-in support for. Mouse back over to the left sidebar. Click Alert Destinations. Click on an Alert Destination entry to view or modify its settings. Back on the Alert Destinations page, click Create New in the upper right corner to set up a new destination. You can set up destinations to route alerts to a messaging platform like Slack, a case management system like Jira, or an automation platform via a custom webhook. In the left sidebar, click Cloud Accounts. On this page, you can set up and manage AWS accounts that you want to monitor with Panther to highlight resources that are not meeting policy standards. On the Schemas page, you can view and manage your schemas that inform Panther how to normalize data for downstream services like the detection engine and tables in the data lake. Schemas for Panther managed log sources are listed here, and you can also create custom YAML-based schemas for your custom log sources, as well as automatically generate schemas from raw S3 data. On the Lookup Tables and Enrichment Providers pages, you can set up and manage tables and enrichment sources like gray noise that allow you to add important context to your detections and alerts by enriching the events they process. After you have data flowing into Panther and alert destinations set up, it's time to configure detections and their associated infrastructure. In the left sidebar, click Build and then click Detections. Panther includes numerous built-in detections that you can run against your data. Filtering by log type is a quick way to see which detections are available out of the box. To create your own custom detection, click Create New in the upper right corner. At the top of the page, you can select the type of detection you want to build. A rule is used to identify suspicious activity on a per-log basis close to real-time. A policy is used to identify misconfigured infrastructure. A scheduled rule is used to run rules on multiple logs driven by SQL queries. After you have set up your detections, events that meet the criteria you have set will start to show up in your Panther console. Click Alerts in the left sidebar. You can navigate between the three alert types at the top of the page. When you see an alert come through, you might want to investigate it further. In the left sidebar, click to expand the Investigate tab. The Data Explorer allows you to leverage SQL to search across raw events as they were parsed by Panther or events matched to rules you have configured. Reference the documentation for more information on the additional investigation tools available in the console. Before we close out our tour, click the gear icon in the upper right to open the settings menu. From this expanded menu, you can navigate to your general settings, manage console users and roles, create and manage API tokens, and access the API playground. If you want to enable SAML SSO login for your account, you can configure it from the general section. 
That wraps up our brief overview of the Panther console. To learn more about Panther integrations, features, and configuration options, please visit our documentation at docs.panther.com.